I think AI has uh, an almost limitless capacity to help us to transcend our own limits. And I, I would ask the question, faced with technological progress over the last couple of hundred years, is technology not perhaps the most reliable source of human flourishing? Well, technology has already helped us to transcend a number of limits. Look at all of the modes of transportation that we have now, including sending a probe to Mars and how that has taken us off what would have seemed like an absolute limit of the planet that we live on. It's amazing to think that the average life expectancy of a woman in Japan is now 85. 200 years ago, the average of a woman in Sweden was only 35. So technology clearly helps us to push against what look like the boundaries of human endeavor. I think AI offers opportunities not simply to extend the capacity of our bodies but our minds, perhaps extending into pleasure. If you look at gaming, gaming has enabled us to achieve goals in a totally virtual environment. The idea that um, an AI could transform music to give an audience the most pleasurable club experiences of their lives. But can it help us to transcend our ultimate limit, our own mortality? Well, there are certainly uh, scientists and futurists who are working on that project. But the question we have to ask is, if we were to have the capability to upload our brains to computers, would we end up leaving behind our humanity? There's a difference between making incremental changes to the body and leaving the body completely. And I think the Japanese have recognized this. I mean, here you have perhaps one of the most technologically advanced societies, and yet it has become almost a medical prescription that people living in Tokyo go outside of the city and take forest baths. While pleasure is something that, of course, we all want, we also tire of it at a certain point. I think we will find ourselves less fulfilled and less human if we immerse ourselves in a world of our own creation and not in the natural world that we have grown to be a part of. Perhaps the question is not whether we can transcend all of our human limits, but what limits we should put on technology so that we use it to enhance our humanity rather than escape it.